So you have imported all of your clips and now you want to create a project. Above the toolbar is your project space and you'll see on the top left here I have several projects that I'm working on but I want to create a new one for Zoe. So I'm going to click the plus button that's on the bottom right corner of your project library and it's going to pop up a window to allow me to create a new project. Now I'm just going to call this Zoe. I'm going to choose widescreen or 16 by 9 because that's how I filmed it. If you recorded in standard definition, you would choose 4 by 3 here. This frame rate um, is how many frames per second. And the, if you recorded it with North American equipment, you will choose 30 frames per second at NTSC, but other regions have different frame rates. I'm going to choose no theme, but just be aware that there is an option to uh, input your events, your clips, into a movie trailer. And it, it's quite polished with music from the London Symphony Orchestra. There's many things to choose from. It's very simple and straightforward. I won't bother with a video help guide on how to do this because it's super simple but and highly effective. In this case, I just want no theme and I'm going to walk you through some editing here. So I'm going to click Create and it's going to make a new project that you see is empty because we haven't added any clips from our event library into the project. Theoretically, you can choose any video from any of your events to add to the project, but in this case, we're just going to be adding the Zoe clips. So if I want to have a look at what I've got clip-wise, I'm just sliding my mouse across my clips here. I'm not clicking and dragging or anything to what's called skimming. The vertical red line is called the playhead. And from here, if I press the space bar, it will play clips. So space bar starts and stops your video. You'll notice that as I'm skimming, there's no audio because it can be quite distracting. To turn this on and off, there's a button here on the toolbar. I've always got mine set to off, otherwise it, be, it can disrupt my thought process. So we have a lot of video here and sometimes people like to select all of their uh, footage in their event and drag it into the project and then start eliminating from there but I find that to be quite a long process what I prefer to do is have all the video in my event and then only pick the pieces that I want in my video and add those to the video and then fine-tune them later um, so that's how I'm going to show you how to edit now there's ways of doing this you can just straight add it in or you can mark clips. So I'm going to show you how to mark clips first. So let's just say this little section of video where Zoe's looking cute and angelic and paying attention to me. I really like that. So I click and drag over it and I highlight it and I get this yellow box that shows me that's the section of video I've highlighted. And when I click the solid star, it makes it a favorite clip. And you can see it has a green bar at the top. Let's say where Zoe comes into my comes up into my face <laughs> I don't actually want so I'm gonna click the X and that's going to reject the clip now right now when I go down to the bottom of the window you'll see I've got all clips showing but you can choose to look only at your rejected clips you can choose to look at only your favorites and your unmarked which means no rejected clips will be there and or just your favorites. So the reason why I like doing this is if I have a lot of video I can skim over it, hi, uh, mark clips um, that I like and then I can just go into my favorites and then move those very very quickly and easily into my project. So I can click and drag over this to select it but I find an easier way to do it now that I've already chosen the section of video that I want is to hold down the command button and click it and it will select the entire clip. The easiest way to add it to your project is to click this add to project button and it sticks it at the, at the end of the project. The other thing you can do is drag and drop and I'll show you how to do that by going into um, all clips and I'm going to select another section of video. So now that I have my section of video uh, highlighted, I'm going to click and drag it to wherever the vertical bar shows up that I want it to drop. So there it is, it's at the beginning of the project. So I have two clips in my project and you'll see that now that they've been added to the project they have an orange bar at the bottom so that's how I know what's in my project. This is called non-destructive editing so it's not actually moving anything it's just creating a set of instructions for iMovie to know what to do with the footage that that is in its events folder under movies under your login um, in the finder window so that's where all of this footage actually lives.
So now that you've added a couple of videos uh, into the project, I'll keep going here, marking clips and adding them to the project. And then the next time uh, we see each other in the help guide videos, we'll start um, adding in some titles and transitions and move forward with more editing audio and fine tuning our clips.